Brothers for Life member and notorious racketeer Muhammad Hamzi, known as Hamoudi, or LC for Little Crazy, has been set free after serving nearly eight years in jail. Muhammad Hamzi, aged 37 and a prominent figure of the infamous Hamzi clan, was released on Tuesday 20th of June from Macquarie Correctional Center in the northwest of Sydney. Macquarie Correctional Centre is a maximum security prison located in Wellington, New South Wales. The facility is made up of 14 buildings and has three layers of enclosure. There is more than 5 kilometres of secure fencing and over 600 security cameras at this centre. Fearing attacks and keeping security in mind, police took precautionary measures and provided him with a special escort while his brother Khaled was among the family members who came to receive him. He was released on parole amidst widespread rumors and speculations that some rival gang has offered a significant sum of $2 million for killing him. These circumstances have also sparked concerns of an imminent outbreak of a potential gangland war, casting a shadow of apprehension over the city. Hamzi was incarcerated in 2016, for eight and a half years, when jury found him not guilty of murder, but guilty of manslaughter. He shot a rival gangster Yaya Amud in Greenacre on October 14, 2012 and told the court that, that it was an accident and that he had offered victims widow financial support in the aftermath. He was also cleared of a charge of shooting with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, over the shooting of his friend Alex Ali, on October 8, 2012. In February this year, the parole board initially denied Hamzi's release, for his own safety, and to mitigate the risk of a catastrophic gangland war. The decision aimed to ensure the preservation of Hamzi's personal security while also preventing the dangerous escalation of violence that could have resulted from his release. However the parole was granted later on. His release comes with strict conditions, including having to wear an electronic tag and a ban on making contact with bikey or crime gangs. He is also banned from taking drugs, possessing a gun or prohibited weapon, the reconsideration of the decision took into account various factors, including Hamzi's behavior and potential for rehabilitation. Ultimately, the parole board determined that the necessary precautions and conditions were in place to mitigate the risks associated with his release. Even though parole board thinks he is okay to be released on parole with some strict conditions, police believe that he may persist in engaging in violent and criminal behavior, and if pushed into will resort to a violent and unlawful lifestyle possibly putting himself and others at risk as he has some clear reasons to do so. According to the reports, Hamzis have long list of enemies waiting for revenge attacks. This includes their arch-rivals and bloodthirsty the Alamadeen clan. Not so powerful but still dangerous the Comancheros and the ever-expanding 81s or the Hells Angels. Besides these there are other crime Middle Eastern families like the Ahmads, and the El Myers who are well established and have been involved in various conflicts in the past. There are concerns, that if Hamzi experienced an assassination attempt while in prison, it is highly possible that he will be exposed to a greater risk of attack or potential fatality upon his release. These concerns arise due to the previous incident in which he was stabbed at the John Mooney Correction Center in October 2020, occurring shortly after the murder of his cousin. The attack involved the use of a makeshift weapon, resulting in chest wounds and posing a grave threat to his life. While incarcerated, little crazy Hamzi missed a lot of crime action, including murders of family members. These were cousins Mejid Hamzi, Bilal Hamzi, Ghassan Amun and distant relatives Salim Hamzi and Tufak Hamzi. The savage killings have disrupted the long-standing supremacy of the Hamzi clan resulting in the Alamadines now exerting uncertain control within the city's criminal underworld. Also, reports suggest that there are apprehensions regarding LC seeking revenge for the reported killings of his cousins and relatives. According to reports, members of the Hamzi gang may feel a strong sense of obligation to retaliate and seek justice for the deaths of their members. The key concern is that since he went to prison, the number of loyal supporters or foot soldiers within the Hamzi faction has significantly diminished. This depletion in manpower poses a significant challenge for him, as he may lack the necessary support or resources to carry out any retaliatory actions effectively. Gathering from various police reports and interviews, it is clear that police are concerned about LC's release. He is a convicted serial violent criminal, 
and has confirmed links to violent organizations like the Hamzi Family and Brothers for Life criminal gang. He possesses an extensive criminal record, encompassing around a range of offenses including manslaughter, drug dealing, violence and theft. Given the nature of Hamzi's offenses, there is a genuine concern regarding the likelihood of recidivism. Previous evaluations indicate a lack of remorse and an inability to adhere to societal norms, suggesting a high probability of returning to criminal behavior upon release. Although he is subject to parole conditions, such as regular check-ins with a parole officer and adherence to specific restrictions, it is imperative to acknowledge that supervision resources are often strained.